What we're going to talk about today is another one of the really common ways that trauma is expressed. So I've been going over trauma and the body. So we're specifically talking about trauma and the body. Hello, say hi and where you're from and who you are and um, yeah. And I can't wait to have this conversation. So hello, hello. And I'm inviting like everybody because I just didn't know who wanted to come. So um, we're going to be talking about another thing that happens. It's really common over the years I've noticed myself and my clients have autoimmune deficiencies, autoimmune diseases. So as well as the other day I talked about weight. Hey, Shelly. So the other day I talked about weight and how when we go through a trauma, one way that our body processes it is through waiting um, <laughs> and, and through weight. So I talked about that. So you can watch that live if that's something that interests you, if that's something that you're struggling with and, and you're there. Um, all of this stuff I'm going to cover and we're going to go deeper in, in really reclaiming your body and the power of your body and a great relationship with your body and loving the skin that you're in, in the six week course that is going to be beginning. So, um, yes, this is, this is definitely something I'm sharing because I want you guys to want to go deeper with me and step further with me. I want to give you more information. I want you to have freedom and understanding about your address, the skin that you're in. Um, so we talked about, um, the four ways that we get sick in the first video and I'm just going to review them here. And then we talked about the weight yesterday. Now the second way that trauma express itself is through autoimmune deficiency. So that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. And I just did a bit of a live on my like business page, I guess it is Antica Libby or Antica Alicia com C O M. And, um, so I'm just going to recap this and if you want to watch the whole, like that whole thing, um, you can, but the gist of it is we get sick in four ways. Um, we have our genetic makeup, we have our environmental things that happen, right? We have trauma and we have bad habits. So those are the four ways that our physical body mainly gets sick. Now, with weight, it's pretty common. Yes, we can um, do emotional eating and all that stuff. We kind of talked about that a little bit yesterday. Hey, Jessica. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining. Um, so we have we have the you know we have that. So we kind of talked about that yesterday with autoimmune and stuff. It's a little trickier because. What happens in the autoimmune system is it actually starts attacking the weakest link. So if your body is a soldier, right, and um, and you all the little all the little white blood cells are soldiers inside, they're gonna go in and they're going to eliminate the weakest link. They're gonna eliminate what they perceive as the weakest, and oftentimes those perceptions are genetic, right? They're predisposed genetic weaknesses or they're triggered by a, um, they're triggered by an, uh, an environmental response like a hormone, like birth control was talked about today on my page. And, um, that is, that can cause just enough if the body doesn't respond well to the hormones, that hormonal imbalance can cause the autoimmune deficiency like um, psoriasis and other things to, to happen, right? It can throw everything off course. Um, another common thing is um, environmental pollutants in the air, like living in a really smoggy fa place can throw us into this as well as um, the shots. Some people do them really well, other people not so much. The um, <laughs> immune immune shots, right? Immunity, whatever they're called. Um, <laughs> I've blocked those out. I have some work around that. Okay, so we talked about all of this. I'm gonna see if there's a way that I can 
Well, I've invited them in, so hopefully they'll already be approved. There's a couple people. I think once you're invited in, though, you're you're in. Um, okay. So, what what happens when trauma happens, though, is a little bit different. And how the body responds. So, um, by knowing this, it gave me so much freedom. Uh, sometimes we just need a teacher, an educator. And for me, it took me years of putting together the pieces of this. Not that I'm like the the one that, you know, was is the first to tell or anything. But it definitely makes sense. And then from here, I started deciphering where the other six person, where the other five power zones that like, come in and how they play a part in the healing of my body. Um, but definitely for me and my story, having a bad relationship with my body. Hey, Amanda, thanks for joining. Um, and being sick wasn't something I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing. And at 41, hi, Kim, we're talking about autoimmune diseases and, um, and how trauma really activates them and why. And I'm just sharing how this information really set me free. It helped me to, um, do exactly what trauma throws us out. So if you've been watching this series, trauma is when we can't cope, right? And that inability to cope makes us powerless. It might be powerless in the moment, but oftentimes it starts this endless cycle of crap in our lives. And I call it the cycle of endless abuse. Um, and one way that it does this is it plays into dis-ease. And um, so we talked about the dis-ease, the not feeling comfortable in your own skin of being fat and overweight or skinny and unable to gain weight. So the whole waiting thing um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday. And we're going to talk about autoimmune system today. I have a group opening up, um, a course opening up for 333. It's a six week course, an online course, yoga, a whole bunch of stuff to fall in love with your body and heal this. But we're really going to be focusing in our private sessions or group private sessions in um, around trauma and healing this from a holistic perspective and specifically the body. And I'm really excited actually to spend six weeks with, with y'all doing this. Um, because normally I cover it in private session and sometimes it's one week and sometimes it's, you know, 12. Okay, so the body, when traumatized, goes into fight, flight, or freeze, right? We have our four ways that we get sick. One is through trauma. Now, trauma does a couple things. When we're traumatized, we get into fight, flight, or freeze, and the body naturally starts trying to to cope with the uncopable, incopable. It automatically tries to regain its its power, and therefore, if you have a genetic makeup, right, from your parents, say, um, well, for instance, for for me, my genetic makeup is cervical and ovarian cancer runs in my family. And obviously, uh, in my body, it, it was one of my weakest links. So immediately after trauma, I got cervical cancer when I was 21. And this last year after trauma again, I immediately got cancer again, um, or precancerous cells dysplasia. And, um, you know, to, bad enough that they were like, we're taking the thing out, right? And um, luckily we switched that around because I did the work. I did the work that I'm gonna be sharing in the Amazing Body course. But um, what happens, this information I'm about to share with you is so freeing to understand why am I so sick? Why is this happening for me? So I did a video on my page, you can watch that. Hey Sonia! And we talked about kind of how everything breaks down. So I'm going to just run over it really fast and then then we can go deeper. Um, I wanna know your guys' questions. I wanna know, you know, how you can, you know, curious, we can go down any old rabbit trail. This is open conversation for you. I'm totally here for you. And, um, 
and we will see. We shall see. Okay, so common autoimmune diseases are ones that are either affected by the endocrine system or ones that are affected by the digestive system. And why is because when we go through trauma, we activate our adrenals, right? And we're, we're in a life-threatening situation, so the adrenals activate to save our lives. And oftentimes, like I spoke about when with the weight, we get locked in fight, flight, or freeze. Okay, the other two systems, well, there's three actually. There's rest, digest, and mate, reproduce. Okay, RRR, triple R, as my mom says. Um, so we have rest, digest, and. Oh, digest is a D. What's the other R? Reproduction. <laughs> Maybe she says DRD. I don't know. Um, double RD. Anyway, so you have rest, digest, and and reproduce. So it's common that those things break down. So our endocrine system is basically a line of energy that breaks down. It's our pituitary, then our our thyroid, parathyroid, our pancreas, and our adrenal glands are the main main toolbox there. So adrenal fatigue happens, chronic fatigue happens, um, and then inability to digest things happen because the pancreas isn't working. Thyroid disease, hypothyroid, um, hypothyroid, and Hachimochos all tend to happen. And then the total switching off of our body where everything is firing off. And when everything starts firing off, that's when we can get the pins and needles oftentimes of fibromyalgia and um, and, and um, joint pain and all of that. Hello, Antoinette. Um, and so we, we get stuck in fight, flight, or freeze. We have the trauma. We get stuck in fight, flight, or freeze, and then the body still can't cope, but it's trying to help the rest of our system, right? So we're all six power zones. We're, we're disempowered and everything, but it's trying to help the rest of our system cope any old way. So the more that we don't think about it, the more that we don't feel it and we run away from those feelings and are scared of it, the more that we stay disconnected from our highest source and our relationship with with the spirit of, of ourselves, the more it's going to show up and be affected. And the longer our body is going to have to literally build up this resistance, this war within itself and eventually break down. So for me, my... Um, I think the trauma that like really set everything free, well now that I'm thinking this, it might have been at four, but it definitely was at 11. So the two places in my life where I would revert to in PTSD, right, would be like the age of four and the age of 11. And so what happened then is my body started this fight, flight, or freeze process, right, at let's say four. And over time, as I matured, it just kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going until it broke the camel's back with cancer at 21. All right, before cancer though, there was tons of signs of um, exhaustion. I had mono multiple times. So I know my story is is common. Unfortunately, from, from the coaching I've done, this is a really common response to abuse. Um, or trauma. So for me, my trauma was was abuse. Other people's trauma might be a one-time deal. It doesn't mean anything. Hey, whether you're constantly in trauma or you're constantly in trauma because you're locked there, um, the, how the body responds is how the body responds. So you're stuck in fight or flight. This process starts and your body starts fighting off the bad guys. Now the bad guys are usually the genetic makeup that's the weakest link. Now mix that with an environmental trigger that makes it also be affected and you're like, 
it's it's a done deal. I mean, you're sick. Hey, right? your body cannot process that. It's trying. It's really trying to win the battle. It's trying to get all the good guys going. It's trying to fight or take flight, but it's trying to save you no matter what or play dead like the possum, right? But no matter what, it's trying to save you. So, it affects you the endocrine system. Very, very common. Hey, um, now, does the endocrine system affect everything else? Absolutely. Hey, the thyroid and the hypothalamus are in charge of most of your hormones. The, um, if you have any questions or anything, just jump, jump in. If you have any comments, jump in. Just jump in any old time that you want to. Um, so the, that whole line gets, gets effective. And it's like, oh my gosh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? And it, it ripple effects onto every other layer, right? So emotionally, you can be a basket case and, and, and mentally, you can be beating yourself up and at the same war inside of your head. And spiritually, you can be an absolute wreck, which of course then creates a life of absolute wreck, right? So ongoing saga and bad relationships and the job that just doesn't work out, blah, blah, blah. Like the story continues. And it begins the cycle of what I call the cycle of abuse. However, the body, as well as all those other things, are really just trying to win this war, right? And make sense of it so to heal the body yes you have to focus on the rest of those and we'll get into those over the next year <laughs> or six months I'll talk about each of the personal power zones and do an amazing course um, within that so you can reclaim all of you however if the body if your body is fighting how you heal it is to really acknowledge at least the first Thing or the thing that comes to mind when you think, well, what could I be fighting? What trauma could have triggered this if you feel it's a trauma? Now, remember, I said that there was two other things. So it could just be genetic, which means you need to go to the doctor, get help. There was no trauma. We don't want to create something that's not there. We do have just genetic things. And it could be environmental. You could be reacting to an allergy. It's really important to know your allergies. It could be hormonal, meaning you're going through a cycle or a change, right? We go through puberty change. We go through another cycle with with um, being a parent and being of that age. Then we go through another cycle with perimenopause and another cycle after menopause. So there's cycles where we're gonna go through this natural upheaval and kind of war and, and change. So it's good to have really great doctors, naturopathics or MDs, whatever you feel drawn to, to go to and, and say this. But when it comes to a trauma, and you know that a trauma is going in there, then you want to, you want to go for the trauma and then from there, let the body know that, that it's okay. Then from there, heal, utilizing the tools um, from the doctors and from things, um, other, other means that come to you to, to take your power back and your body will start seeing results. How you know it works is because you'll get results. Right? You'll start getting healthy. One thing, I, mean, I learned this hugely when I had cancer is we were talking to my uterus. We were, uh, we'll go into this in the class where we're going to learn how to talk to the organs, talk to what's going on, listen to that, give a voice to it so it can heal. So it can end the war. It's kind of like signing a peace agreement with, within yourself. And then from there, I had to also treat my my cervix and everything now the cool thing is when I was 16 they said you won't have kids and I have two girls so miracles can happen all right um, any questions anything from there let's see Oh, cool. So Jessica, so birth control and psoriasis. So is it causing the psoriasis? So birth control is an environmental cause, right? So it could be 
just the birth control is affecting your hormones, which is affecting your skin, because psoriasis is a breakdown of the protein. And that actually brings me to, to phase two. So we have the endocrine system. The next is digest and rest. So digest is your um, stomach, right? So stomach pains, that can also feel like anxiety. They all kind of tie together, unfortunately. Um, the, that like pain there in your stomach, digest is also your guts. So Crohn's disease is one that goes there. Um, psoriasis shows up or skin rashes show up because psoriasis is when I believe um, for the most part I know for the most part it's when we don't digest our proteins correctly so there might be some prohibitor blocker that's wor not working with your body in the birth control of course talk to a doctor I'm not a doctor definitely not an MD um, that will um, will say yes to this and I might have to go get a charger and come back. Um, because you want your digestion. Also would help was, would be taking probiotics and or um, other digestive enzymes. Um, hydro, HC, what did I have to take? It was something specific that I had to take for a while to just digest meat, any, any sort of protein, any sort of meat. That really helped. Um, and another common thing for psoriasis, as well as eczema, is allergies. Right? So, so that's really, 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 really important. Ah, see? So you might want to see like a digestive um, enzyme person or really look at that. Now part of the program that we're going to walk through, we'll walk through some common ways to help your body digest. Um, I've studied it for years and, um, and, and how to like help that. So, so you might want to look in the amazing body program. Um, but I would also go and get some blood tests, specifically blood tests done. Uh, there's some naturopathic doctors and some um, some MDs do really good blood tests. So um, I hope that that helps. That would be huge. Okay, so we're at digestion, right? And digestion is the guts. It is um, constipation or the runs. It is the the belly, and um, it is the it, when the digestion is off for trauma, and it was caused by like it it was this perpetual thing of trauma. I found that most of the time it's because the person wants to know why, why did it happen. Why? Why? And sometimes they've spent 30, 40 years trying to figure out why and they can't get an answer because they don't know who abused them or um, the person won't admit it or um, they've never had a conversation about it themselves, right? So I'm just trying to think of different scenarios. So we can't digest it. Digest it. It's, it's too hard, we'd want to understand it. So releasing that understanding will help the body kind of stop the war. So coming to a place of acceptance within yourself is a huge win in, in all the areas to come to this place of, of peace within, within yourself. Um, hmm. So those are really, really common, and and when we can't digest our food, we can't assimilate our food, then that you know, eventually over time will turn into autoimmune deficiencies. In the program, what we're going to go into is we're going to go into ways to eat so you can digest better. We're going to go into techniques that you can use so your body handles the stress. So you can move beyond the trauma without going through the trauma again. Like 
we, I think most of us have been through the counseling where you tell the same story 150 times and each time you're just experiencing it again and each time you come out and you feel better for like five seconds and then you go back and you're like, wait a minute, I need to go back to therapy again. There comes a point where telling your story and reviewing it and going through it and asking why literally becomes detrimental to your health. And at that point, when your body is fighting against you, hello, Shell, um, then you can just have peace knowing that your body is fighting against the bad guys and the bad guys for the body seem to be the weakest link and the weakest links are found when when you are either environmentally or genetically prone to them. So there's two ways that you have to heal autoimmune disease. Now they have taken studies, many, many studies, I can't remember who, I think it was John Hopkins, was the last person that I read. Um, they've done studies on trauma and the autoimmune diseases specifically. And it's like 90%, something crazy like that. I think it was 88.9% or something crazy like that. Um, it's the cause. It's the cause. Now, why the body starts attacking itself is because it's trying to get rid of the bad guy. Now, the tricky thing about it is it looks like it is number one and two. It looks like it's genetic because oftentimes what the weakest link is is it attacks that that gene that isn't well. That's prone to be getting. It's prone to be getting sick. I mean, we all have family medical history, right? So it's prone to being sick. Or you have an environmental thing that comes into play and it creates weakness in your body, in your system. It creates havoc in your hormonal system or your endocrine system or your digestive system or your reproductive system, which we didn't really get to. But we'll talk about the reproduction and how the body turns that off. And that includes um, less sensation. It includes less sexual arousal. It includes the inability to orgasm, let alone multiple orgasms, let alone five-layered multiple orgasms, right? Which, as women, we get. That's one of the joys of being a woman. So, frick, let's, let's do it, right? So we're going to talk about all of this in the group in the course. Let's see. Sorry, I got a call. Um, yeah, is there any questions? I think we just have one person on right now. People popping in and out. It's kind of late at night I did this. Any questions, any place else that you want me to go? I think I shared a lot. I love... I, me and my body have gone through so much and I've watched the cycle of abuse and trauma just play out so wholly in in my life and be healed that I've, de I've literally dedicated you know the last two decades of my life to study the science of this and discover it um, cool cool so just let me know if later you have any questions or want to want to know anything I absolutely love it so I don't know what we're gonna talk about next I, I keep meditating on it and wondering okay so what else how else does the body really express trauma um, weight is a really common one this autoimmune system uh, was is really common um, you know I think I might talk about phantom pains which is really really interesting and and phantom pains doesn't mean that they're not really there it just means there was no cause there's seemingly no cause but it's chronic 
so I think that's what we're going to talk about. And then doors are open for Amazing Body. So it's AnticaLibby.com forward slash Amazing Body. And it's a group course. We're going to do, I'm only accepting 15 people. We're going to do group coaching. You have to be in by Friday. Um, and, and everybody in the group is going to get a chance to be coached and find solution. There's also the nourishment course. There's also a movement and yoga piece to this course. And, and then we're going to talk and get deeper into healing specifically from trauma and reclaiming your power, reclaiming your body's power so it no longer has to fight against itself. So it's no longer trying to defend itself from its weakest link and creating autoimmune disease, but those that crazy war that's going off inside of your body can finally stop and and you can have peace and it's possible it's it's wild and sometimes yes you're going to need to go and get blood tests done but as you get those done they will start working right and that's the coolest part of of it all is you you've gone to doctors for months and years and years and months and oh my gosh and here it is right and then nothing works and nothing works and nothing works and you start treating the trauma and treating your body specifically because oftentimes when we get stuck in trauma we get stuck in the mind right we get stuck in the emotions and we forget about the body start treating the body specifically and you find solution. The right doctors will just all of a sudden show up and they'll have the right solution and you'll start feeling better and you'll start getting answers. And as long as you continue on that path, honoring the body and while dealing with, actually actively coping with whatever the trauma was, um, whether you went in, you know, head first into a pool and created a, a trauma or you got in a car accident, or you were abused as a child, or you were raped as a teen, or you were, um, your parents died. And I'm sorry if I'm triggering anybody, but these are common things that are like life altering, changing things that make us stop in our tracks. And, in, and at certain ages, at certain times, at certain events, we ask why, how could this happen? And we cannot cope and when we can't cope our the rest of our faculties our subliminal survival faculties take over and when they get stuck in action they continue fighting even after even after it's done so we want to get them out of action we want to end the war with inside of you and then then look at what genetically can you do? What habits can you incorporate that are going to support your healing? What, um, what else do you need on top of that to counteract the environmental cause or the gene and genetic cause or the habits that need to shift and change in order for you to create a loving, healthy environment with your body and that will put your autoimmune disease at peace. I've seen it happen over and over and over again. Now here's the tricky part. Once you stop communicating with the body, those weakest links are still going to be yours because remember I told you in the beginning they're genetic. So for the most part, most of them are genetic or they've been environmentally influenced and sometimes over a long period of time. Um, so you will start seeing those signs again, your, your rheumatoid arthritis, your arthritis will start acting up for me. I, excuse me, I gain weight. Um, and my cancer, my, my cervix started acting up again, right? I had to get surgery last year because I went through a major trauma. So my body was like, oh, well, this is how I reacted last time and it helped. She got help and she dealt with me, right? So it did it again. And it's, they're like red flags going, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop and pay attention to me. 
So we're going to talk about, and I'm going to teach you exactly how you can pay attention to these things. Exactly how you can walk through it without re-traumatizing yourself, because that's belonky and bullshit. You don't need to do that. And how to pay attention to your body so the war ends. So if this is something that you want to know, as well as all the other good stuff that I've been sharing with you, go ahead and go to AnticaLibby.com forward slash amazing dash body, and I'll put the link here. And um, like I said, it's 333. You can make two payments of 188. And we're going to start this coming Monday, but I'm closing the doors on Friday. And I'm only accepting 15 people, up to 15 people. So you better hurry up. Bye.